Oh, oh, oh. Hello, everybody. Ignore my bed. Y'all already know it's not made. Well, yes, it is. Kind of. Anyways, so today is another day, the beginning of a new vlog. Okay. So today is actually my vlog days are like weird. I just kind of like end them when I feel like they're just gonna get too lengthy and too long for me to edit. <laughs> so um, I just start over. So I just got home from work. Of course, my client did not show up. I think I'm a joke at this point. But anyways, <laughs> um, I got some packages in the mail, so I'm gonna open them in front of you. Let me go grab them and prop you guys up on this box. I wasn't gonna vlog today because I didn't think today was gonna be eventful, and it wasn't, but I did do a little bit of some some. So this morning I woke up and I shipped out all the wigs from the wig sale yesterday, like literally all 30 of them. I shipped them out because like I just feel like they need to go out. So they have been shipped. Oops. <laughs> Quality service, okay? What do you want? Are you leaving again? No. You want me to buy you food? No. You want food? No. You want food? No. You want good food? No. You want Can you like food? stand up straight? Like you look a mess on this vlog. You want you want You're actually embarrassing me. You want I'm gonna food? blur you out. I don't want anything. Just Uber eats it. I'm not leaving again. You should have called me. <laughs> Bye. Close my door. Itchy bomb. Itchy bomb. You don't even eat that. It's for my birthday. When? Seven. Looking like that? Bitch, I can give this. What did you call me? A bitch. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> you look a mess. I'm getting my tax. Says who? Mommy. I need to get my sizing. You got your sizing today? No, but I need to. Girl, you're gonna fall asleep in there. I'm not. They're gonna be in the back of your eyes. That's what he told me not to do, fall asleep in them. And that's exactly so be ready what you by six forty-five ish and we can leave. Okay. No! I'll pay you. <laughs> the money that I pay you, you have brushes to wash. I know. You saw them? Yeah. It's a lot. I don't know. Um, it looks it's a lot it's from two days worth of work okay bye girl fix look at how you look <laughs> so be ready guys ask your mom no she said i can go huh? yeah ask her if she can take you so be ready around 6 45 you can do whatever you want <laughs> be ready you can get ready whatever you want you can get ready whenever can i finish my vlog please Six forty-five. okay bye anyways so I got up this morning and I shipped all the wigs off. Then I was supposed to go to work, but my client kind of sort of, she rescheduled, let me not even go there. She rescheduled <laughs> and then um, I went to Narcosco. I don't know if I've ever talked about Narcosco before. It's basically like a um, professional makeup store, costume makeup store. So they sell like everything that I need, my cosmetic wedges, my disposables, mascara wands, lip brushes, makeup sanitizer, Ben Nye products, like all that kind of stuff. So um, what is the place called in um, LA that everybody goes to? Something basically like that, but Narcosco's in Atlanta. It's like way smaller. But anyway, so I went there, but you have to call the order in because they're not ex allowing anybody inside the store. So I called in, made an order on everything I need, alcohol to, cause I was like down to like my last. <gasps> what time is it? I should be good for tomorrow. Anyways, so um, I keep thinking today's Saturday. So then, because I was already in the city, I decided to go to Phipps because my best friend's birthday was on the 21st. You guys saw in the last vlog. Her birthday was on the 21st, but because of like... Okay, let me tell you guys what happened. So basically, my best friend came here... Sorry, if it's, it's shaking. So basically, my best friend came here for my birthday. Um, October 1st, that little week. I think she left like the 3rd or something literally uh, literally the night she got back she's like oh like my stomach hurts blah blah like really bad well no when she was the day she was leaving she said that like her stomach was hurting and stuff and i'm like just stay like it's just stay like it's okay she's like no i have to go back i have work i have school whatever so um the night she gets back i think she went to the hospital and she was like she thinks she has appendicitis 
but the doctor sent her home and said she didn't. She went back that same night and she had appendicitis. So she literally went into surgery that day, even after the doctor sent her home. Like I said, that sounds like a lawsuit to me, but you know, I'm gonna just shut up. Um, and so she got surgery. So I basically had to, she lives in Alabama, by the way. So I had to rush down there. It's like three hours away. I had to rush down there so that, you know, she wouldn't wake up and nobody be there because none of her family's in Alabama. She just goes to school there. So yeah, with her getting surgery, her birthday, our, her birthday plans kind of got like rearranged. We're supposed to go to Houston and just like have a nice little staycation vacation. Cause it's like, we've never been to Houston and they have really nice hotels and it was just something different for us. But then that got canceled because our schedules were just were not, she had school and work and this and that. And I had school. No, I don't have school. <laughs> I had um, work and stuff. It just was a mess. So then I was like, okay, well, she can come back to Atlanta for her birthday. And we could just turn up, turn up here. Like, you know, my friends, her friends. Um, my friends are her friends. So it would have just been a lit situation. But then that happened. So she's like, yeah, I don't feel comfortable driving to Atlanta for that long. Like, you know, she's still healing. She's still in um, pain sometimes. So with that being said, I'm going to Alabama on Sunday. Um, I got a really nice hotel. Well, the nicest one I got, honey. <laughs> we're going to Birmingham. Um, and yeah, we're just going to do a little staycation, a little girls trip, like get massages, you know, go out to dinner and all that kind of stuff. So I'm excited because we just have fun together. We're really childish. We've been friends since we were like 11, 10, 11, something like that. So we're like hella childish together. So anyways, back to what I was saying. Um, I had went to Phipps because she wanted a pair of like the double CC Chanel studs. So I went to the Chanel boutique in Phipps and they didn't have them. They said that they're like kind of limited, like they're really high demand, so they don't have them. And I called Lennox and they said they don't have them. So now I'm just like, I don't know what the heck to do i got her shoes but they're not here i'm a last minute person that's my bad she's like a prepare person like literally when my birthday came she had my gifts wrapped like a week before my birthday and i'm just like wow but that's just her personality she's just a very like thorough person i'm very like last minute and rushing so yeah i'm i'm hoping i doubt her shoes are gonna get here i'm gonna have to ship them to her but i'll be there <laughs> I'll be in Alabama, so we're just gonna have fun. Maybe I'll think of something else tonight to get her, cause I really don't wanna greet her empty handed. Like that's so rude. Um, but yeah, so went there, then I went back to work, finished working, and yeah, so now I'm home. And today I'm wearing my Ivy Park, and you guys, it has makeup all over it, so don't judge me. Have on my Ivy Park pants, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? With the Ivy Park shoes, okay period, where's my shoes? They're probably by the door. Ivy Park shoes, okay, period. Um, I'm actually, I was looking at the collection at first and I was like, mm, I don't want that. But now I'm looking at it like, I'm not gonna wear it like Beyonce because you know, she wears it very like Beyonce-ish. Like, it doesn't look, it doesn't look, it doesn't look bad on her at all, but she wears it very like, everything's very perfect and structured. I'm more of like a slouchy kind of chill girl. So I really do want a pair of shoes or two pairs of shoes from the collection and like one of the green outfits because the shoes is green and one of the like um, coral outfits. And that's pretty much it. But anyways, um, I just went to the mailbox. I got some packages. So I'm about to open. This one's the easiest one to open. So. I got a package. This is from a hair company. Don't know who because y'all know. <laughs> the girl gets wigs daily. This is from Eunice Hair. It feels really heavy. Is this a headband wig? They said they really wanted me to do a headband wig um, video because I actually did this hair. I freaking love this wig actually. This is from Eunice Hair too. And um, I was like sending them the video and they're like, dear. Um, we don't have any more of these wigs in stock. So like, can you promote another video? I'm like, you know, hmm, no, but yes. <laughs> but um, yeah, what is this one doing? But yeah, they sent me like four different headbands. And then the headband wig. I think this is like a 26 inch curly. Oh, it's got a nice little bedazzle one too. I actually like the idea. I'm not mad at it. Ooh, it's like a loose curly too. It's not like this. 
Oh, I'm gonna like this. Oh, and there's another headband in there. Oh my gosh, God damn. I like like it because I actually like wearing my edges out. And I'm a chicken head, so I can't do like a sew-in type of situation. So um, yeah, so we'll see. Well, actually they want this up by a certain date, so I'll get this done, because this is an easy wig to do. Just wash it and put it on. And then I made an order on Sephora the other day. Oh, they got me a little cute little, I almost put that box on my bed, oh my gosh. I didn't get a lot at all. Oh, I literally got two things, right? Oh no, I got three things. So I finally got the um, NARS Soft Matte Foundation in Macau. Macau was sold out in both Sephora, well, one of the Sephora's, okay, the Sephora by me doesn't sell it in the mall, and then the Sephora by me that's not in the mall was sold out. And the lady was trying to sell me like Benars or something, not Benars, um, but like something, something that was like really light, like, and I'm like, girl, no, like stop trying to make a sale. I said what I said, I want Macau, okay? <sighs> Anyways, and then I got the um, NARS Soft Matte Concealer in Walnut because I already have caramel. Is it caramel? It's a lighter one, but of course you guys know I like to layer my concealers and that one is just too light. And Walnut is so warm and just, I freaking love Walnut, but NARS, I love the shade of Walnut, but I don't really care for like the, the, what's the original concealer? What's the original concealer? Oh my God. I used to use it just for the color, not really for the formula. And then I got um, this Laura Mercier moisturizer. I freaking love this stuff. I used this the other day because I had some samples and my skin looked is so good. Place. Yeah, I can't wait to use this. And this was really expensive too for a moisturizer. But I'm sure it'll be worth it. And I'm going to dab it and rub it in. But yeah, so that's what I got from that. And then I got a package from Dermalogica that I was not expecting. I wonder what it is because I haven't seen them come out with anything. So I'm like really excited. Oh my god, I got a little Dermalogica box. This is like really exciting for me, you guys. Who would have ever thought Tasha would be opening PR packages? Oh my gosh. You guys. Wow. There's so much stuff in here. Like, do you know how much this stuff is worth? Like, I was I was expecting like one thing because when I first did the um Dermalogica um like partnership or sponsorship thingy, it was like a big old box and it was like literally one product. And I was like, oh like they really sent me one product, but thank you. <laughs> But like, wow, I was not expecting this. They sent me primer. I've never used any of this. Actually, I've used a pre-cleanse before. I had a small one of that. And I need to start using the pre- Oh, my skin finna be bleak. <laughs> so let me show you guys what I got. So I got this um, Skin Perfect Primer with SPF 30. It says Age Smart, so I'm guessing it's for more aged skin. And then I got the Hydra Blur Primer. Wow. I mean, like, it's not, like, a lot, a lot of stuff. But, like, this is, if I bought this, I'm sure this would be well over, like, $200, $300. Like, this is a lot of stuff to just be giving me. And they didn't even tell me that they were sending me any of this. So, I'm shook it. Um, oh, I heard about this. Somebody was telling me about this spray. I had a client who told me, like, this is all she uses on her face. Um, this is the Antioxidant Hydra Mist. And it's, a, it's like, a firming hydrating mist and she was asking me about it i'm like i feel like all mists are the same at this point but let me shut my mouth okay and then i got the pre-cleanse i really did like this when i used it and then i got the special gel no special cleansing gel so i can't wait to use this you guys will see more about more about these products over time of course this stuff was just sent to me gifted um but i'm not obligated to do any kind of you know I'm not obligated to do any kind of like sponsorship type of stuff. So yeah, I'm going to take a shower because I just got in the house and took a shower. And I'm going to I think oh I need to edit these videos. I would like to edit these videos before I leave on Sunday because I work kind of all day tomorrow. 
so yeah girl somebody just um tagged me in a post that said looking for a makeup artist to do halloween makeup for tonight yikes i'm not that girl yeah so i'm about to um finish editing these videos because it's pretty early in the day it's still bright outside as you can see so it's pretty pretty early and if i don't finish these by tonight i'm the problem i am the issue i have literally nothing else to do for the end of the for the rest of the day hey guys so i'm getting ready i'm on my way to salon I'm about to hop in the shower but let me tell y'all what just happened okay so i was getting my stuff packing because i was supposed to pack last night um but i was so tired i literally fell asleep and had set my alarm for 12 a.m so i can get up pack do my hair so that tomorrow i mean today because i had work this morning i could just literally go on the road y'all none of that happened so i ended up doing my hair this morning before work when i woke up and i'm packing my stuff now and i like pick up my uggs my purple uggs my, my purple uggs with the bows on it okay and i'm like what is on my wall and it's like kind of fuzzy y'all there's mold in my closet there's freaking mold in my closet all where my boots was lined up and you know like if it's covering it i can't see so i just have to get rid of like all my shoes some of them i was able to wipe off and um save and my mom's gonna like bleach them for me and stuff um because they didn't get in the shoes but the ones i got in the shoes i just threw them away like it's like my whole floor is wet because um i'm gonna show you guys so this wall um is my my water cooler i'm gonna show you guys in the front of my house but yeah all this is like it's you probably can't see it but like all this is freaking mold and i my throat's closing up as i talk to you guys so i'm just gonna um have them handle that um this might be a sign i just know that there's no way that this is going to be fixed in a day like mold is not something that you can fix easily so yeah but literally right there is my freaking water cooler or not water cooler um cool. oh my god this pimple on my cheek what the hell um, um, so yeah, the heater, AC, whatever you want to call it, y'all know what I'm talking about, is right there. So it's probably leaking, and that's why it's in my closet. So I moved everything out the way, off the floor, off the wall, and yeah, so now I'm gonna be held back a little bit because like I'm not playing with them, they're gonna have to really fix that. Because the last place we lived at, we had this issue too, because um, my mom's closet was by the window so like when it would rain it would just come in the closet like it was it was the weirdest thing so they used to just try to like bleach it out and wash it away like no they were supposed to eventually they had to like gut out the walls and like redo everything it was just a whole thing i don't have the energy like <laughs> so anyways i'm pretty much done packing now though so i'm about to put the stuff in the car take a shower and head that way it's two hours away and i'm supposed to be on the way now it's supposed to be like probably there in like 30 minutes but this happened my friend understands i need to leave this closet door open child and yeah so i will see you guys in a minute y'all when i tell you i'm literally so thrown off by this freaking mode in my closet like what the hell like now my throat hurts you know when you see something you just your body starts acting weird like that's how i feel but 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 do i have a mask yes i have a mask. um i'm waiting on my sister right now what are they doing i'm waiting on my sister right now because she's in target getting some like cookies cupcakes chips she's going somewhere child for her friend's birthday i think her friend's house for her birthday so she just ran in there to get that then i'm gonna drop her off at her friend's house then i'm gonna be on the road i need to see where i'm going anyways first of all because i absolutely have no idea where i'm going but i'm really excited you know i'm so glad if that mold situation happened and i was at home it sucks because i'm gonna have to go back and i don't know if it's gonna be fixed in the next two to three days i doubt it but my mom's gonna handle it she literally like is on the ass so um um yeah i'm gonna have to probably go home my stuff is probably gonna be all out in my closet on the floor on the bed everything i took out a lot of the stuff though i took out a lot of my shoes and some of my clothes is on my bed um the stuff that wasn't touching the wall but i already know my mom was gonna like 
take everything out while I'm gone. I'm gonna come home to chaos. So, um, what was I gonna say? I cannot wait to eat. We're getting crab tonight. There's this place in Birmingham that she says really good, um, better than Juicy Crab. So I'm really excited because I'm feeling crabby. I need comfort food, okay? Because uh, it's been a long, it's been a long week, and this is gonna be even long. Honestly, now because of this mold thing, I'm probably not gonna be able to record the videos that I need to this week. So this week's a dub. So I'm probably gonna whew, sigh of relief. So there's probably no Halloween video, but I'm still gonna do the look though. Don't get it twisted, honey. We know I'm a character, honey. But um, I'm probably still gonna get the look done sometime. I'm just not gonna stress myself. Oh, Courtney was quick. She's, my sister loved wearing a crop top. Girl, you are 13. She got on a crop top, ripped jeans, a uh, flannel over it, and some Converse. She's such a, y'all know, such a girly girl. Such a fashion girl. But, um, yeah, we're going to get crab tonight, so I'm super excited. I'm so hungry. I'm purposely not eating. I haven't eaten all day because of that. So, yeah, say hi, Courtney. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, y'all. Bye. I finally made it to the hotel room. Um, oh my god, I can take this off. Um, I just came in and washed my hands. First thing I did because girl. Um, but this is our room. I should probably lock this. Oh, that's stupid. Okay, but yeah, I'm gonna show you my, guys my room. I'm gonna show you guys the hotel when I walk out, but my hands was full. I had the bags and stuff. But I'm gonna show you the room. It's kind of cute, it's very different. You guys are gonna see the um I don't know what I just pressed. Sorry if something changed. But um I don't know if this really matches the decor of the rest of the hotel. The uh, the rest of the hotel is like very like old and like looks really fancy. And then like this is the room, excuse my tacky fit, but I'm really comfortable. Okay. I had a two and a half hour drive. So no, I had two hour and fifty minute drive, so bear with me. But this is the sink i'm literally about to like wipe everything down because i'm a psychopath this is the bathroom oh this is cute is this oh that's oh sorry the toilet room okay and this is a shower okay little green doors and then this is the room this is very like different. It's very like modernish with the little pops of color. Um, this was honestly, in my opinion, the best hotel in Birmingham. The rest of them, mm. yeah. This is our view when it's not gonna be freaking foggy and murky outside. So I can't wait for it to be like sunny tomorrow. So yeah, let me put my mask down. And I'm gonna wait for Salah to get here because she gets here in about 20 minutes or so. I should probably just go ahead and curl my hair, but I don't care that much because we're literally about to go eat crab. But I should probably take this off now. Should take this off before I walk into this hotel looking trifling. Period. Period, honey. Okay. That soup is very very big but we're gonna roll with it okay i can't be mad at it because once my i mean all that's not gonna be showing it's just gonna be a little peekaboo but wait till my hair's curled tomorrow i like layered it and stuff before i left my house because i didn't want hair all over the hotel but if i need to um like look at blah, 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 blah. if i need to layer it again i will um what's that place called this hair is from bells me hair um she sent me this hair a long time ago super sweet um this is a black owned hair company from australia and you guys she literally has been so patient with me because i told her you know i would review for her and i wasn't gonna charge her because you know i like to put black black owned businesses on and i feel like a lot of them are not getting the recognition all you see reviews on is like um is um what do you call it like you know the little chinese vendors and stuff and that's cool whatever but i wanted to put her on like this is actually a really nice hair color i didn't get ready with me doing this hair and i just feel like i've been neglecting her and i don't want her to feel like that but i have other obligations prior to this and she sent me two wigs the other wig i like it's not that i don't like it it's like a bob length and you guys know how i am with a bob i just feel like y'all probably have never really even seen a picture on my page with a bob like a bob is like i could wear it 
to work where for the week but i don't feel like a bad bitch with the bob so i i think i'm probably gonna have somebody install it for me and like style it because i already like cut the lace and plucked it and the wig was really nice the quality of her hair is a one but um yeah and then even this hair it's like highlighted but it's not like the other highlight wigs i've been doing this one is like like super ashy and has a lot of dimension like it's just really nice and you guys know this is like my favorite length this little like sophisticated length i know i'm like advertising well i'm not advertising because i don't have to do this but i know i'm like talking about this hair and it looks raggedy right now but this is this is the real y'all gonna see it later later and i need a lot to get here because i am hungry is like my favorite outfit i wish i can get this in other colors i think they have black but i don't really like the black i wish there was like a i don't know something but it's from urban outfitters my best friend salah who's coming today got me this for my birthday it's just super cute last time i wore it i wore it with like tube socks and like white forces but I just love, I'm so glad it's fall because I get to wear stuff like this and just be cozy. And I love it. So yeah, I'm going to be wearing this a lot. So judge your mama, not me. Look who's here. Okay, give him a 360 period. Okay, hair press, Nike outfit, fresh ones. Come on, hit the chicken head. You got to hit the chicken head one time for the, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that was not no real chicken head. <laughs> Fucking diddy bop. <laughs> That's what you did. Okay. okay, she guys. said we do not need to sit around. We need to go get the crab, okay? And this is why we are friends because respectfully, was like I was hungry too. Is that your valet card? Yeah. And we're on freaking the 13th floor. I don't like that. These you know, not in room 1307. What's that? That's spooky, spooky. What's 1307? Because 13 and 7 are both bad numbers. I thought it would be 13 and 6. No, 1307. It's cute. No, the little 13. But I thought hotels didn't have 13 floors. Oh no. oh no, literally every hotel I've been to does not have a 13 floor. So when I saw 13, I said, <sighs> yeah, it's probably an old hotel. Huh? It's probably an old hotel, that's why. But it's, it's not like old though. I mean, I'm sure they've redone it. It do look a little, it look a little historical. I mean, I feel like they did that though. <laughs> it's not giving like real old vibes. It's giving. The building is up. Oh, not just standing here. <laughs> I mean, is it broken? I'm gonna show you guys the hotel. Oh, check the low number. Check what number? You can the numbers to get the file. I'm not vlogging the kids, Chef. Oh, go on my thing, my valet tickets in there. <laughs> I'm not understanding. So this is Birmingham. It's very so like I don't know. Did when you got off the freeway, mine's was literally like a mile off the freeway. Uh, it wasn't like, far. All on that side and that way. I came from all, this way. See, yeah, like all on that side and that way is like the big building. Mm -hmm. Um, all the city. have self parking here they're just not giving people access to it due to covid but that's so stupid to me i feel like if you due to COVID, what's COVID about? yeah if anything valet is more covid -y. that's what i'm saying it would make more sense to have I'm valet in parking. my car and like what if i have covid what if they have covid that's not why you turn around a ding ding a girl <laughs> can you try to text yours it's like saying unavailable, like I just don't understand. Good how are you? We're at the crab lane. Oh, I hate that in all my pictures you can see my phone. What picture? Is this you took some today? Yeah, you can see. Do you want any appetizer or y'all need a minute? Just a minute. I'll order crab claws for the table, but you can we can still take them up a minute okay. for everything else. Can I get which one? The crab claws. Crab claws, yeah. Um, fried? Yes, please. Okay. I got you. 
things. I took a nap. So that's what you want? The small house? No, it's kind of cute. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah. This place the called J&C. Yeah. 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 Seafood. Seafood. Okay. I'll be back short with J&C. Seafood. And we're about to eat and grow. Hey, are they wrong? I really like dipping my shrimp, my fried shrimp in the sauce. Mm. I've never done that. That sounds good. Girl. I know it's a fat thing, but like crab itself doesn't fill me up. So I feel mm. like. That's what I do when I, well. But I yeah. don't want popcorn shrimp. So I get the crab claws and then I get the snow crab and. On a date. Is it, why is this like so far away? Like, well, it does seem a little far. Like us. It seems like we're so much further than we are. Thumbnail. <laughs> Oh no, you don't have to put it back. Huh? Oh, you <laughs> Grab your food. <laughs> so we got some crab claws. I've never... Have I tried this before? They're, you just bite it? Yeah, and like, it, you literally will feel like how far you can bite and you just like, kind of suck it oh, Like a shrimp? Yeah. This is hot. No. Mmm. Mm. Okay, bye. Okay, so we got a lot of food. Um... Yeah, we got a crab cake. I ate mine's already. I got fried shrimp. And I have crab coming. I'm at the edge. What do you mean? You full? Girl. <laughs> it looks like an edge. You haven't even eaten anything yet. You didn't even eat all your crab. <laughs> oh, bitch. You're not going to leave me hanging. Our stomachs were definitely bigger than... No, our eyes were bigger than our stomach. But here we are. <laughs> <laughs> trying to find a picture of something. Uh huh. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything else I can get y'all right now? Uh -huh. That's it. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. See that on this side. Okay. We're good. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome.
Okay guys, so we're in Saks. Remember I told you guys about the earrings earlier? Well, earlier in the vlog a few days ago? Yeah, still can't find them. They don't have Chanel in here. The ghetto. <laughs> no, but um, yeah, this morning we just pretty much got ready. Cause I was a little flabbergasted. Um, oh, yeah, frazzled. I don't know why I said flabbergasted. Um, I don't even know what's... This place is old ladies here. They don't... But yeah, so my computer wasn't going on this morning. And I was on the phone with Apple. Oh, Theory? Oh. And they basically couldn't help me. So I had to make an appointment with Apple. So we're just kind of like browsing around. I thought she was talking to me, child. I like this dress. I know you're not going to like it, but I like it. I feel like it'll be very cute on. What was I saying? <gasps> I love this. Wow. <gasps> Look at the blue one, Salah. You want it? Okay, I'm getting sidetracked. I'll talk to y'all later. <laughs> but anyways. So yeah, this morning was just not working. My laptop wasn't working. Nobody could help me. The guy was trying. I was trying. She met her... Um Man. <laughs> I did. He was flirting with me. He didn't know me, but he was flirting. He was child. flirting, child. He tried. <laughs> he was trying. Um, neither did she though. Whatever. <laughs> but yeah, you guys, look at these shoes. I really want these. Aren't they cute? Look at it. You see? You see? I really want these. They don't have these in my size. So then these. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, these are kind of big. <laughs> Oh. Do you need a 10? I think I need a 10. Stand up. How do they feel? It's fine. I mean, they don't, I don't, they don't look too small, but I don't know. They don't. You want to crop off them? Yeah. Except my foot is like right there. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> Literally the worst sex I've ever been into. It was giving very much. It was giving very much that <laughs> Dillard's, okay? But we're about to. Is there any other stores you want to go to in here? Not particularly. We have like. You know what? I do need we have like an hour. So we are at Cheesecake Factory because we're freaking starving. We're supposed to get dinner tonight, but we haven't eaten all day and it's six o'clock. And we have. Past my eating time. Yeah, we haven't eaten all day. I don't even think I drank anything today. <laughs> That's pretty bad. So yeah, we're gonna get like appetizers and then figure out what we're doing for the rest of the night. Okay, okay. So Little sweet, birthday. Man, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they could have gave you a cheesecake. Yeah. What is that ice cream and whipped cream? cream? I'm not a child, but we're very appreciative. We're just talking shit. We, we always talk shit, so don't mind us. <laughs> she doesn't even like sweet stuff. That's the funny thing. I feel like I'm feeling. Oh, hold on, I gotta get you. Make way. All right, guys, we're at this place called Patty B's Chicken. I got a wing, a breast, some fries, mac and cheese. She got chicken, fries, fries. <laughs> We've pretty much just eaten this whole trip. Love to see it. Guys, so I literally am so freaking tired. I did so much today. Oh my God, I did so much today. My chest is hurting a little bit. I don't know if it's like gas <laughs> or my, I don't know what's going on. I need to just relax. My chest hurts. I need to get some rest because I drive tomorrow I'm back home. But I got my computer back. It's working fine so far. Thank goodness they have to like basically reset the computer as if it's a new, you know, device. I was just like, whatever. Um... But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm super full. I'm so tired of eating. I don't want to eat anything else. As you guys see, all I do is eat. But I'm just getting it all in. Because come November 1st, I'm cutting it all off. So yeah. Oh, and we had to change hotel rooms again. Like, this place is so freaking freaking 
freaking stupid. They don't have room service right now um, while you're staying here. So basically like room service only comes if you when you leave and check out. So we were like complaining to them like, you know, I feel like I need new towels. I wanted my room to be clean. Like that's the whole point of a hotel. Like, I'm sorry, I couldn't book an Airbnb for that. And that's why I don't like Airbnb Airbnbs because I'm not filthy, but because if I'm out of town, I want to be gay or two. That's just my outlook on it. Like literally my room is not dirty. All my bags are packed away. I don't have clothes everywhere. Like I'm just not that person. But with the bathroom, like I want my towels, you know, out and nice and fresh i want everything wiped up cleaned up bed made like that's not something i want to do when i'm on a vacation but anyway they basically were like we'll just search your room again and they're taking money off and stuff like that because i was just like that doesn't make any sense like this hotel isn't cheap so why i'm not getting all the amenities is beyond me i'm not even that kind of person but like i'm just like this is ghetto, but it's also Alabama. I keep saying that. No disrespect to anybody that lives in Alabama, but like, woo. But I'm gonna try. Oh my gosh, I don't know what's going on. I need to go to the doctor when I get back. If it's not, if it's not gone by tomorrow morning, I think it's because I've been eating so much. Like you know, we've just been trying different stuff. So like a lot of fried foods. So I probably need some Pepto Bismol or some um, Tums or something. But like right here is like hurting. Not hurting. It's like a when I breathe, I can like feel like no, I don't want to say pressure because I don't want you guys to freak out. But yeah. Anyways, um, so yeah, I'm gonna try to edit this video. Um, I'm gonna try or at least upload the clips on my computer so that I can just have everything kind of in order and yeah leaving the hotel now ready to get out of here and we're about to get some food so yeah. pose pose for the camera pose for the camera oh. come a little bit this side this side pose oh now that's low-key matching low-key low is the key what you got are those off white? No. Girl, I don't know. Uh, no, they I saw the I saw the little orange. I thought you had an off white. I was like, okay, friend, with right the off white fit. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, we're getting the hell out of here now. It's yeah. it's, it's, it's running its course. <laughs> Wrap it up, Dan. Okay. Oh, Alright, y'all. 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 Alright
it's just it's just hard so wow that wow okay sorry i'm actually on my way back to atlanta right now so i'm just like let me just talk because once i get home it's gonna be a wrap i might wrap up this vlog i might not i don't know we're gonna see but anyways so basically i had to make an appointment i had one for today but i had made one but i wouldn't have made it in time because i forgot atlanta is an hour ahead of Alabama so by the time I got there I would have been an hour late so I was letting him know like hey can I bring it in later he's like yeah no <laughs> so I had to make an appointment for tomorrow and it's not even with Apple because Apple doesn't have any appointments available this week in Atlanta I don't know if the Apple stores are closed again because they were open and they were closed I'm just freaking confused but there's none available in Atlanta at all um so I had to go to Simply Mac. That's actually where I ended up buying my laptop from when I got it last year. Oh my God, I can't even think. Because, um, you know, I'm still having that weird little, like, chest pain. It's not pain, it was just discomfort. I'm just ready to go home and just relax. I feel like I'm just, my body's probably just, like, over, like, a hard drive. It's, like, overheating because I've just been doing too much back to back for the past few days. But, um, yeah, I'm taking it tomorrow to get fixed. So... Honestly, I was just thinking on it and I like had a breakdown this morning So I didn't really vlog too much this morning, but I literally was like bawling because I just feel like oh, I don't want to cry again. Anyways, I just feel like you know There's just a lot of stuff going on personally too and I just feel like I work so hard and it's like every time I feel like I'm like cool. I'm at ease. It's like something knocks me back down and it's like I work so freaking hard and it's like I have to overwork myself to just be at a steady flow if that makes any sense I'm not trying to get like too into stuff because a lot of stuff is not y'all's business no shade no thing but um yeah so I just it's just a lot been going on this weekend this week I keep saying weekend I keep thinking it's the weekend but it's Tuesday what today is Tuesday <laughs> but um yeah so I'm just like I just am overwhelmed I'm just really stressed I was like crying this morning to my mom she's like girl relax okay relax she's like you don't need to start so honestly if my computer gets fixed today or tomorrow I think I'm gonna do that trading thing and like trade in my laptop and pay the difference and get a new one and go ahead and get a desktop because my mom was saying she was like you know since YouTube is something that is your job now oh my god my my camera's not anyway since YouTube is your job now you can't have little things stop you from completing your work because basically I'm three days behind on work and I can't really film or record right now anyway so it's just a lot so she was like you need to have something just in case of these that these things happen when one computer is in you still can continue with your job so that's something that I'm gonna figure out this week um, if the Apple's open I'm, I don't know but I'm definitely gonna get a desktop and I'm gonna get my laptop fixed and potentially upgrade my laptop because yeah this stuff is like really frustrating and it's like really bothering me I finally made it back to Atlanta um, I just ran back home and my house is literally chaos okay they came to fix my closet and they were like um, just everything's everywhere you guys and you know like <sighs> oh my gosh after driving and being at home for a few days it's like I just want to like shower and just go to my bed but I'm not able to do that so I just went home and I literally turned back around because I do have a few stuff I have to do tomorrow is kind of sort of a free day um, I was supposed to go to the nail shop when I came back in because because um I got my nails done literally like two three days ago and they're already chipping and i'm just over it like i've gotten my nails done this is my third time this month getting my nails done and i only wear gel like i'm just not understanding why um why my nails are chipping like it's freaking gel like i just i just don't get it so i was supposed to go back today and she was gonna redo them for me but i'm just tired I'll probably just go tomorrow, but um, I did go to the beauty supply store on my way back home because it's a little bit further out. So instead of me having to drive back there tomorrow or someday this week, I know I have work Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I just got it out the way. So I bought this bag is basically full of lashes. Yeah, they like fixed the wall. They had to like gut it out. They had to like redo it, get the mold out. 
like they're they're in my opinion supposed to lift the carpet up and make sure the mold is out but they shampooed the carpet making more wetness and how smart um so my mom was like well y'all need to just shampoo the whole house then um we have carpets in the room we have hardwood floors throughout the apartment but each room has carpet so she was like hmm, y'all need to just go ahead and do that so the whole house or anywhere that's let me rephrase all the rooms are wet I have clothes all over my bed for my closet everything else that was in the rooms on the floors has been pushed into the living room or any other place to rest so there's really nowhere to go right now it's just like I just yeah I've been rambling for 10 minutes I hope I hope I'm not annoying anybody but I'm about to run into Target hopefully I find pajamas I'm literally gonna just get any cozy pajamas I'm surprised I don't have Halloween pajamas though, cause I don't know if y'all know, I'm a ho I'm not a Halloween. I do love Halloween, but I'm a pajama freak. Like I have the most grandma pajamas. Like literally like nightgowns with like flowers, pinstripes, silky pajamas, matching pajamas, Christmas pajamas. Like I have, I even have Easter pajamas. Like I have birthday pajamas. Like I have them. I have makeup inspired pajamas like i love pajamas my mom always finds pajamas she always buys them for me i don't wear all of them all the time because you know like like a pajama that i will buy for like a pajama party is not pajamas i was sleeping they typically are like too thick but i just love pajamas but i don't have any halloween pajamas which is beyond me these gnats this is pretty nasty i don't even want to park here anymore i just want to move like i'm in the target park target parking lot by the way but um yeah i'm surprised i don't have freaking halloween pajamas but we about to see i don't even think i'm gonna bring my camera in target because i need to just think and focus so i am back home if you guys hear that sound in the back there is like a fan type of thing in my closet can you guys see no you can't is this it yeah this is it it's like a fan thing at my closet trying to like dry up the wetness and whatnot so i just closed that temporarily so i wouldn't be as noisy while i'm talking to you guys but i'm back in the house and there was some packages so i'm gonna show you guys so of course like i said i got the primer first which is crazy because i ordered the primer literally like three or four days after the foundation like where's the foundation like i just i just don't get it i really don't but this is the water jelly primer and i actually am like loving the packaging i think it's so cute i'm just gonna see what it feels like if it's like it doesn't really have a smell i'm trying to see if it's like the hydro grip this is way more it's way more watery than the um hydro grip like with the hydro grip after you start blending it in you could feel it getting tacky and this one i cannot feel it getting tacky but it's really smooth but i see the logic behind it because if you're using a foundation stick you want your base to be very like slick and smooth you don't want anything kind of tugging so that makes sense but we'll see how this works when i use it in conjunction with the foundation but i can't wait to try this because i'm not gonna hold y'all the mood i'm feeling right now you guys are literally, I mean, I have videos. I have about, at this exact moment, oh, I need to make a video live today, but I have about five videos, five or six videos to upload. So I'm gonna try to space them out, but honestly, I'm not filming for the next week or two. I'm just, I just need to reset. And then I got a new wig from RPG Show. You guys know I love their wigs. My last wig that i wore in um my last vlog when i went to my friend's like clothing line launch with the brown that's from rpg show and that wig actually was exactly a year old because that was my birthday hair from last year um that scared me um my birthday wig from last year was from there and their wig just lasts so long so they sent me another one and it looks really cute and you guys they freaking sent edge control in here, which normally I'll be like, why the heck would you send that? But I just started using edge control on my um, frontal edges and 
points have been made, honey. They have been made. So I'm really excited to try that out. And we're gonna make it public. Make sure you guys go watch if you haven't. Thank you. This one is actually, this is kind of like my birthday wig, but longer. If I had got this on my birthday, I would have been ecstatic. Because you guys know I loved my birthday wig, but I just think it was like missing just a few inches, but it kind of went with my dress. But this is kind of basically like the birthday wig, but longer and thicker. So yeah, I'm actually effing with it. It has the highlights in it. Smells like hair. <laughs> Fashion Nova package, which I'm about to open. I got some jackets. I got this um like furry coat that goes down to the ankle. So I'm really excited. I'm gonna pair this with like sweats or something. Just like a really nice chill outfit. Um, I got this leather jacket, you guys. That's like, um, it matches my Marc Jacobs bag. So I have a little look in mine, kind of, sort of. I mean, you could really just pair this with like jeans. You can either do sneakers or you can do heels. We'll just see how it goes. But I just really wanted something that will complement my bag the most. And I got a lot of jeans. I don't even know what jeans these are. Oh, these are the um, jeans that tie at the ankle and kind of like flare out. I got me a nice little velour. Is this velour? Yes, velour sweatsuit. Um, because you know, like honestly, the skims was just not cutting it for me. It just was not as cute as I wanted it to be. Um, and it was like overpriced. Like it looked very plush, but the colors just were not cute. And this is like a nice light blue. I don't know why I'm showing you guys this if you guys are gonna be watching my haul, but if you wanna see me wear these items, then make sure you guys like subscribe, okay? Okay. Um, but I'm gonna leave this up here until my floor is wet. I have to get this whole computer situation figured out. Um, my laptop still is not fixed. Um, but I basically took it to Simply Mac and they um, they were really of no help. So I have to go back and pick it up tomorrow. Long story short, it's just a bunch of whatever. So I'm gonna be sending in my computer to Apple itself versus going through them because the whole point of me sent giving it to Simply Mac is so that I could put my computer in and get it back immediately but that wasn't the case because they were still going to have to end up sending it to apple anyways stupid so i ended up getting a mac today because i don't have seven to ten five six seven eight days and it was just giving me anxiety because i just i just had a lot of work to do like i really do so yeah, we about to get into this. I'm about to, I'm getting used to this. It's really big. I got the 27 inch and honestly, kind of here for it. I would have just been okay with the 21, um, but they didn't have it in stock. So I had to get this one and I'm not mad at it. It's just gonna take a little adjusting. I did get some goodies for the Halloween party tomorrow that I'm gonna do later on today. Or later on tonight um but yeah my room is pretty much back to normal so i might be able to well, i'm not i'm still not gonna record it. i ain't even gonna lie good morning and excuse my house because it's all my stuff that's still um out of my room that i'm about to put in my room from my little catastrophe but i woke up in a better mood this morning i did wake up a little late it's 11 06 um I haven't woke up this late in a while. I've been waking up hella early. But I did edit my first video last night on my new Mac. I keep calling it a MacBook. On my new iMac, on my whatever computer. I absolutely love it. Like, honestly, the laptop is obviously more convenient. But if you have to choose, get the desktop. And I honestly finished editing my full get ready with me in like an hour. And mind you, those take me a little long. Not like too long, but they typically will be kind of lengthy. And I just finished it because... I wasn't in my bed, I wasn't chilling. I was um just getting it done. And honestly, they're cheaper. It's not cheap. You know, y'all know the price of Apple products. It's not cheap, but it's cheaper than the laptop. So I mean, I got a whole 27 inch for I, I think it was less than my 13 inch laptop. So 
do not take that as you will. I'm about to put these clothes back in my closet because they finished. They like um, came and did this, dried it out and stuff. You guys can't even see. And they have to paint over it. I really don't care about them painting over it. Because I feel like that's just trying to camouflage it. So honestly, they can leave it so I can watch if anything grows or comes back. Um, but they like did this chemical and sprayed stuff on it and all that. So, um, so yeah. Um, I'm about to put these clothes back. I'm going to do this wig. I don't know if you guys remember me talking about the um, super glue wig. Yeah, this wig is, first of all, the wig... This is the, the wrong wig for me to do this on because first of all, the wig is bomb in itself because the wig is so thick and like, it really doesn't need, let me see. It really doesn't need extra bundles. Like she's so thick by herself and so long, but you know me, I'm still gonna go ahead and <laughs> do it just for, um just to try something new. I'm really excited though because this hair, it's so, like you guys, look how freaking like, Oh my gosh, this is from Sunburn Hair. Do you guys remember the long, blunt cut I had? That hair was bomb. I just really wasn't feeling it too much because it was like a closure and I'd rather just wear... I mean, I'm not mad at the closures, but I just... Eh. Um, but yeah, the actual quality of the hair itself was amazing. So... I'm really excited. This is going to be my new go-to wig. It's going to be long. I could do a little side. Hopefully, I could do a side part with it because you know how they be with the, uh, with the, um, frontal space. Do a little middle part. The only, I love a side part. The only reason why I don't use a side, do a side part is because there's never enough freaking lace space. But I love a side part. I just feel like it frames my face better. Makes my little chubby face look more snatched. But anyways, yeah, I'm about to do this, um, do that it's like gloomy again outside supposedly okay i want to say supposedly well yeah i don't know there's supposed to be a hurricane coming so i don't know i'm really like i hope not but yeah i don't know and then i didn't find any halloween pajamas my mom found me a halloween shirt and oh give me this halloween shirt and i am gonna just wear this with some black leggings and i actually hate that it's purple like purple used to be my favorite color but now ugh. Uh, I'm gonna wear this with some black leggings and like a little like side witch hat and some Halloween socks. I'm gonna go back to Target because I know they have that, but it just says bad witch on it. And we in there, period, okay? I'm gonna be as festive as I can and call it a day. Don't laugh at my pajamas, okay? So I told you guys I'm a pajama person. Anyway, so I got these cups. They're all different. This one says like pick your poison. This one has a little, I forgot what you call these, but what are these called? The skull, but it's not called a skull. This one says ghosted and shook. And then age gets better with wine. So all different glasses. And I'm gonna fill them with candy and give them out. But I'm gonna wash these actually too after I finish my room. Cause I wanted to drink from them. A little spiel. Oh, I found the picture. I was okay. That's weird. So I was trying to show my mom the picture that we took at Netherworld. I think you guys saw it already, but I just think this picture is so cute. Like it's just so wholesome and just so cute. Um, and I was looking all over right here and I couldn't find it. And just now, like it was literally like sticking out. Like, I know I didn't look past it because I literally, like, I knew I stuck it in here somewhere. So, I'm, like, looking. You guys, my little thing, whatever this called, is a mess. So, I was, like, looking, looking, looking. And I, like, looked. And it literally was just sticking out like this. It was not like that yesterday. It was not. Because I looked through this three times. Because I'm, like, I want you to see the picture, Mom. Being a little kid. But I'm about to show her now. So, now I'm going to work on, let me show you guys, this wig. And it is so full. Do you see how full it is? I haven't even added the bundles yet so i'm gonna try a different setup today for this portion because i really want you guys to see it i don't want any distractions in the back so i'm trying to figure out a good angle y'all let me tell y'all uh, what just happened so you know the ivy park let me take this back right off so you know the ivy park stuff came out today and so my mom was um we were talking about it is my is this like fuzzy or something um, and we were talking about it, and so it was like, you know, you can like do pre-checkout, like put in your card number, your address, and then like literally it will count down, and then you can check out. I literally 
did it at like five hours right like four hours 43 minutes till launch and i had everything in my car i had like nine or ten things in my car and i literally counted down and watched it i literally watched it from like 30 seconds da -da -da. i kept clicking it because i couldn't like really check out as soon as i clicked it everything was out of my cart i'm like Wow. All right, so I'm back home. I did find some Halloween pajamas. They're like family pajamas, like the whole family's supposed to wear them, but they're Halloween nonetheless. I got them from Walmart, so we're just gonna roll with that. And they're um, glow in the dark too, so mm, real spooky. Hello guys. I am back. I kind of sort of laid my lace like I fake laid my lace. It's hella crunchy under there But nobody has to know that these are my pajamas I'm gonna put on some socks and my Uggs and call it a damn day Oh my god, can we do bottle service please? Oh my god, can we do bottle service please? Oh my god, can we do bottle service please? Oh my god, can we do bottle service please? Oh my god, can we do bottle service Anyone who has milked the cow. <laughs> Wait, what? Go ahead, keep going, because I'm ready for this. No, I said, I don't even want to read my shit. Like, no. who the fuck in here milked the cow? I do not. Uh, anybody anybody milked the goddamn cow? Milk the cow. Yeah. Anyone who has milked the cow, yeah, drink it, tell, it, drink it, tell us oh, how it feels. And drink it, tell us how it feels. It's, it's very watery. <laughs> and it, and it tastes like drink water. So you had like 2%. Yeah, it was. Oh, my God. Wow, my face is so dry. I need to put moisturizer on. But um, I just got back from Bree's house. I took a shower and I'm editing this vlog right now. I'm a week behind, but y'all gonna get it because y'all was saying that I wasn't gonna be consistent with the vlogs. But I'm gonna try to be. Okay, maybe that could work. But I told you guys I have all different types of pajamas, except Halloween pajamas. But um, I'm about to make myself some tea before I go to bed because I have a long weekend ahead of me. I actually have um, I have work all weekend and it's Halloween weekend. I'm not gonna be able to go out with my friends, and I'm really sad. I mean, had we made plans earlier, I honestly would have blocked off my schedule so that I could participate in Halloween. But plans weren't made until like a few days ago, so whatever. I need to work, and the amount of money that I spent this past week, I need to make my money back. So, I am making tea. I mean, I'm making the um, stress tea. I don't know if it's going to zoom in but it's by yogi so yeah i really started using the tea during like quarantine because i was just really stressed i had a lot of anxiety during that time i just really just didn't understand what was going on so the stress tea i'm trying to fix my camera the stress tea helped me out a lot so honestly since you know things have gotten somewhat back to normal i don't take it every night but like i was really having to take it every night so some nights i just when I feel like I need a good night's sleep or I feel overwhelmed, like as you can see this week was just a lot for me. Um, I go back to my tea. I hate when I put on mascara, this shit never comes off. Like, Make sure you guys are commenting, liking, and subscribing to this channel. And I think I'm gonna, um, because you guys like my vlogs, I have, okay, so I do have a vlog from September that I still am gonna find time to put up because I think it was like pretty decent footage. But basically in that vlog, I was um, I was saying that I was going to like start a new channel and just put my vlogs mainly on there or any other content I had on there just to kind of help that channel grow a little bit because of my situation. Um, 
So let me know what you guys think of that. I'm probably still going to do it. We're just going to see how these vlogs play out for the next few weeks. And I may or may not have a new channel. Just check the description box below if you really, really do support me. And want to see me grow. Then follow that other channel. If you don't see it there in the description box, then it will be up. You'll see, you'll see something about it. But anyways, you guys, I'm going to stop rambling and talk about that another day. I will see you guys in the next vlog or the next video. I'm trying to come with the content, guys. That was, ooh, that was a bougie snap. Bye, guys. Mwah.